The astronaut will not be at work today. He's called in sick. He's turned off his cell phone, his laptop, his pager, his alarm clock. There's a fat yellow cat asleep on his couch. Raindrops against the window, and not even the hint of coffee in the kitchen air. Everybody is in a tizzy. The engineers on the 15th floor have stopped working on their particle machine. The anti-gravity room is leaking, and even the freckled kid with glasses, whose only job it is to take out the trash, is nervous. Fumbles the bag, spills the banana peel in the paper cup. Nobody notices. They're too busy recalculating what this will mean for lost time. How many galaxies we're losing per second. How long before the next rocket can be launched. Somewhere an electron flies off of its energy cloud. A black hole is erupted. A mother finishes setting the table for dinner. A law and order marathon is starting, and the astronaut is asleep. He's forgotten to turn off his watch, which ticks like a metal pulse against his wrist. He does not hear it. He dreams of coral reefs and plankton. His fingers find the pillowcases, sailing mass. He turns on his side, opens his eyes once, and he thinks that scuba divers must have the most wonderful job in the world. So much water to glide through.